Ms. Fields is an environmental engineer here at NASA Wallace Flight Facility on the Eastern Shore of Virginia. She has agreed to meet with me. Hi, RJ. I read Kaylee's email and I checked out your research on the internet. I understand that you want to learn more about the impact of oil spills and how to clean them up. Yes, we have lots of oil globs on the beach and we're all worried about the plants and animals. Well, you have good reason to worry. The toxic properties of oil can damage or destroy plants and animals. I mean, just a dime-sized blotch of oil on a bird can impair its insulating ability, resulting in hypothermia and death. That's really serious. How do you clean up oil spills? Well, the typical cleanup method for ocean spills is to contain the oil with floating booms and then pump it back into recovery tanks. Now, sometimes we do apply chemicals to help disperse the oil slick. Oil has made a mess of our beach. I can only imagine. And people don't want to go to a beach that's full of oil globs. Watch how a little oil spreads out, creating a slick on the water. Wow, it really spread out. Yes, and a small amount of oil can cause a lot of damage. Look at how the oil clings to the feather. The oil coats the surface of plants and animals, effectively smothering them. Our area depends on tourism, so I'm sure that the oil on the beach is hurting businesses. Who is responsible for cleaning up the oil from a spill? Well, whoever spilled the oil is responsible for getting it cleaned up. Who makes sure they clean up all the oil? Well, in the United States, it's the Environmental Protection Agency or the Coast Guard. We learned about cleaning up oil spills from a NASA Sci-Files Kids Club. But aren't there other ways that could be done? Well, during an oil spill, it's critical to try to clean it up before it reaches land and affects the shoreline. So we need to be able to predict where it's headed. The paper dots simulate our oil slick. The slick moves with the water current, and then it's reversed by the wind and wave action. The waves also act to break up and disperse the slick. So how do you predict where it's headed? Well, we use planes to fly over the oil slick and we map its location. Then we use current weather and ocean forecasts to create a computer model to predict where it is headed to next. We also use satellites to track which way the oil spill is gonna go. If the oil is at sea, why don't you just let nature take its course and clean it up? Well, waves will gradually disperse the oil, but it can take a long time depending on the amount spilled. If we act quickly to recover the oil, we can protect the environment. How long does it take the environment to recover from an oil spill? It can take years for natural environments to fully recover. That's why it's so important for people to realize that oil spilled in large accidents is not the only way to contaminate the ocean. What do you mean? Well, the everyday buildup of small spills and debris can have a significant impact. Stormwater flows over parking lots and streets, and it carries the oil into rivers and streams when it ends up eventually in the ocean. I never thought of that. I guess that's why it's so important to recycle after you change the motor oil in your car. Yes, and it's also helpful if there's a buffer zone of vegetation that can trap some of the pollutants. Looks like we have our work cut out for us. The oil that's on the beach is from natural seepage, so I guess each city will have to clean its own beach. I'm sure they'll be looking for some good volunteers. <laughs> yes, and I know of six volunteers who can help in the beach cleanup. Thanks, Ms. Fields. You're welcome. Do you know where I can find Dr. Moisen? I sure do. Come on.